Welcome. Some students focus on the high school degree that gains them initial entry into college, rather than the learning and skills that degree is supposed to represent. For example, a student might think that passing high school physics is more important than learning the skills that course was meant to impart. In a college physics course, it might surprise you to learn that difficulty for many students is based on lack of skills in algebra and trigonometry rather than the physics concepts themselves. If this applies to you, I encourage you to do what you need to do to gain those skills now. It will be important for your success in a physics course as well as for all the quantitative courses you take afterward. I'm Dr. Courtney. This problem asks us to consider some basic relationships that will appear over and over again in physics problems to come. We're going to use trigonometry and the definition of gravitational potential energy which we'll call capital U sub G. And what we want to do is find a symbolic expression for that gravitational potential energy for a mass on an incline. As we develop the problem, a sketch is always a good idea, and here in particular, since we know we'll be using trigonometry, a large sketch is uh, well justified. So we have an incline with a mass on that incline. We know that the angle, we don't know exactly what it is, but we're calling it theta, and the mass is somewhere on the incline that's measured as a distance x along the incline. So on the ground, the gravitational potential energy is zero. And if we're considering with respect to Cartesian coordinates here, there is a vertical height, h, associated with the mass as well. So our plan is going to be to recall the definition of the gravitational potential energy which as you recall is mgh, and then we need to express that height in terms of the geography or geometry of this incline. So in terms of theta and m and x, if needed, and then we're going to substitute that back into our definition for the gravitational potential energy to come up with a general symbolic expression. So the gravitational potential energy is the mass times gravitational acceleration times the height. We want to consider the relationship between the height and other parameters of the problem. And then specifically, we can see that the sine of this angle theta is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So sine theta can be expressed as h over x. So if we solve this for the height, we have that the height can be expressed as the distance x up the incline times the sine of the angle. So our general expression then becomes mgx sine theta. That will be very useful in problems to come. As we assess our answer, a good way to do this, if you hadn't already written it on your paper, is the acronym SOKOTOA, which is helpful for remembering the relationships between sine, cosine, and tangent, and the sides of a triangle. In our case, the sine is equal to the ratio of the opposite side over the hypotenuse, which is what we did, and since that's easy to mess up, it's a good thing to double check as you assess your answer.